Hello and welcome to a new video about my barbecue controller. <sighs> I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, I originally wanted to make a button with um, several buttons with one input, but I said, okay, maybe if I put uh, their um, library out there, which is allocating memory and so on, I have to go sure that at least in this application I do not have a memory leak. And I want to show you how to check check here on the ESP uh, device for a memory leak. Uh, currently, this is the program from last time. Uh, I've set this to 180, uh, 180 seconds. So what we see, the, the screen, what we see here, uh, the trend should be now uh, three minutes. All right, Only three minutes because then it would take six minutes uh, to, to determine if there is a memory leak or not. The only thing I really need to do, the, our ESP device, our ESP device, they have, uh, we have a, a get free heap function. I'm not sure if this is known. Yeah? So every time I am drawing the lines, every time I receive a new value, I draw the lines and then my object and so on. <sighs> I added values, yeah, it, it should delete values again, but is it really deleting values and so on? And uh, like I said, what I really don't like, if you look, if you look at, 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 at this here, yeah, every time there's an update, where is the, here, yeah, grab it, every time there's a, an update, we have this flicker. You see, this is always flickering the screen a little bit. Yeah. There is a solution for this, but it needs memory. So I want to determine if I have a memory or not. Yeah. So, how to determine this? I will make here serial print free heap me memory serial.print and now we have this function it's called ESP dot get free heap memory get free get free heap that's it get free heap this is getting RAM huh? how much RAM is there left not stack memory uh, it's really the memory for variables huh? or objects and so on and this is the memory I'm living on if I create the object Zero dot print line, and this is given in byte. So every time I get new new value, I should print this out. This get free heap memory. So upload. Starting up, I grab this. Fifty one thousand byte. Fifty one k. Okay, okay, this is sufficient. Let's see if this stays stable. Now, right now, 51,376, 51,296. Every time, let's see, 56, it's 16 bytes. Every new value reduces here 16 bytes, and here 16 bytes, here 16 bytes. Yeah. So every new data point takes 16 bytes. Where is the 16 bytes? Why? Why? Data point, two long variables and one pointer. Two long variables and one pointer. Two long are eight. A pointer is eight byte in this ESP architecture. Ah, I don't know. It is, of, uh, it is the case, 16 bytes by data point. I wonder that the pointer is that long. But okay, but it has 64k, right? Whew, so if there are really 64k available, then how much, how big is my clipping area? How big is my area? I have, I have set this here somewhere. Uh, the clipping area is 160 by 105. 160 by 105. 160 times 105 equals 16,800. 16,800, I, I will make it a little bit bigger, 160 times 106, 
16,960 times 2, because I need 2 bytes per pixel, because I have a 16-bit value for the color, should be 33,920. 33, 33,920. I have 50,000. This should be sufficient. Because if I have 50,000, let's say, 50,000, 33,920. Let's make it exact. 51,376. 51,376 minus, I forgot. <laughs> 33,920. 33,920. 51,376. 70,456 bytes, and I need 16 bytes by data point divided by 16. So this would be 1,000 data points. 1,000 data points should be enough divided by 4, around 270. 270 data points per channel. So I am I'm adding the canvas. Okay, I want to get rid of this flickering. So what what do we need? We need a portion in the memory. What I've just calculated. We need a portion in the memory where I already put in my data. Here we need black color. Here we need red color. Here we need this pixel, this pixel. For every pixel, I want to have this. Yeah, and this means per pixel I need two bytes because I have a 16-bit value for for color. Mm -hmm. Color information is 16-bit for this for this DFT device. So I need that amount of, of, of bytes in my memory. And if I write it in my memory and then can cope and then all the lines and everything is already correct, yeah, and then I copy the thing on my screen, this will make it will not be you will not see what is happening, that the line is drawn and that it's black and so on. This should all happen in memory and then back one time copy. One time copy, yeah. Uh, luckily, Adafruit uh, is providing us with a pretty nice solution, I must say. I've, I've read about this. So I'm using GFX Canvas and there are three different canvases. One is one bit canvas. So if you have a black and white display, you only need one bit, bit if it's white or black. Yeah? Then you need less memory. 8-bit yeah? canvas or 16-bit canvas. I need a 16-bit canvas because I have this fancy, fancy uh, color device. Then we would we have to give the the uh, area, okay? Ooh, of course, we have to give a name. I call it canvas. This is now the canvas. And we only draw it on the canvas. So actually what I have to do is here print temps. The temps should be updated at the, at the screen further. This is no problem. Uh, here, yeah. trend, draw pixel. No, canvas draw pixel. DFD draw line, no canvas draw line. Okay? DFD field, no canvas, no canvas, no canvas. All should happen in the canvas. And after we have, we fill the canvas black. Yeah? Then we draw a white, what is this Y line? Then we draw the white X line. Then we draw all the color lines. And now we want to copy Copy this to the to the uh, memory, and therefore I have to use DFD dot, and then draw, not draw bitmap, but draw RGB bitmap. This will copy the canvas to the area of of the screen. I have to give the area. Yeah, where should it start? Yeah, at zero zero so in the top left corner. Yeah. Then I have to, to uh, get the data. This is working like this. Get buffer. And now I also have to give the width and the height. And that's interesting, actually. That's interesting because uh, 
we don't have to display the whole canvas there. If we would make a bigger canvas, display only a small part of the canvas, then we can uh, somehow make scrolling. Huh? Would work. Ah, uh, okay, uh, so canvas. What is this now? Width height. I want to copy the whole canvas, so I will use those things. Up to here, up to this line of code, nothing, nothing really happened on the, on the screen. And here I copy everything which has now designed on the screen. Let's have a look how this is looking right now. I'll grab this. See the temperature rising. And we see it flickering, right? Mm -hmm. Every time this... <laughs> now, I'm not sure. 50,944. 50,944. 50,960. 50,944. Hey, look at that. Huh? It's also free memory. Here was 50,944. 50,960. 50,944. Yeah, it seems like the memory consumption is stable. This is also good. Yeah, so it seems like I have not produced a memory leak in my in my in my code. Yeah. If the memory stays stable over time, the old points, the old data points are deleted simply. That's it. Good. Yeah, upload. Upload this. Now we should see. What I have calculated, 70,000, 17,000 something, yeah, 17,000 something uh, as free memory when the first data point comes. Let's see if I'm correct or not. Seventeen thousand four hundred eight. Mm -hmm. That's what about, I'm not sure what I calculated first, but at least it's in the correct region. So this should be, should be sufficient. Should be sufficient. Place it here on the computer. And it's getting hotter. How is the update going? I've not seen it. Instant. Instant update. There's no flickering at all right now. So it will just draw. Just draw. I like that. Looks, doesn't look that cheap, right? Does not look that cheap. So, put it out. Let it cool off here. Temperature probe. Then we should see the reaction on our trend. Mm -hmm. We do. And it's not flickery at all. <laughs> I like this. Good. Good. I'm satisfied. <sighs> Memory I will keep um, uh, watching yeah, and let it run a little bit. Uh, also, if I'm uh, not only watching three minutes, but an hour. Yeah? An hour for me, an hour should be... This is, this is the point what we should reach. Uh, an hour. Should have enough memory left for an hour. Yeah, that's it. That's it for this time. And next time, really, operating buttons, several buttons, one input. Yeah. Promised. Not uh, promised that I try. Yeah? I'm not promised that we succeed, but promised that we try. Uh, for this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.